This application is known as running cut sheet without a carrier. So I'll bring the film down. Go over my heat roller, my top heat roller. Run that through till I have enough on the back side to grab a hold of. I'll come around the back. I grab that film. I'm going to bring that through and I'm going to tack it directly to my rewind tube. Then I'll come back around to the front side and I'm going to grab my print, set it on the table, slide that through, and I'll get that lined up with the edges. Get that right in that nip area, just like that. Make sure we're nice and lined up. And then we'll hold that in place. Go ahead and clamp that down. Now at this point, I'm going to use my foot pedal to get this started and make sure everything is going properly. And once I see that it's going properly, I'll go ahead and press run and release the foot pedal. So now I'm running. Everything looks good. Hit run, release, come back around. Look at it, make sure everything is lined up properly. Get a nice output. I'm going to call, go back to the front. I'm going to keep an eye on this. As soon as I see my last portion of my trailing edge enter the nip area, I'm going to go ahead and stop the machine. At this point, <laughs> I'll go ahead and raise the roller up and then finish it running through. So we'll come around the back side. I'll get it to my point right there. And I'll go ahead and stop the machine. And then cut that off. Now, you'll see that I'm using a knife on the machine. It's extremely important when you use type a knife like this, you don't get anywhere near your, your rollers. You don't want to slice those rollers. If you have to do anything close to the rollers, we supply a zippy knife that allows you to get closer to the rollers so you don't have to worry about cutting them. These rollers are very expensive. They're the major cost, the major part of the machine. You don't want to do anything to damage them.